Ravi and Ekta are two survey enumerators. They are hired in a joint project of LICOS and the New Delhi office of the International Food Policy Research Institute. They are conducting a large-scale survey on the dairy sector in Punjab, a state in the northeast of India. Today they are visiting one of the households that was selected for inclusion in the survey. They will fill out a lengthy list of questions about the socio-economic characteristics of the household. First, Ravi and Ekta introduce themselves to Gurmeet, the wife of the household head. Gaining her trust is pivotal if they want to obtain any kind of information about her family. In a minute, the whole neighborhood shows up to see what is happening. Gurmeet's son invites Ravi and Ekta to sit down on a charpoy. Here they will be talking and discussing for an hour or two about who are the members of the household, what are they doing for a living, how much milk they are producing and whether this is more than five years ago. Ravi and Ekta carefully note down each and every answer in a pre-coded questionnaire form. This same 35-page form is used for each of the 1,000 households which are being interviewed over a span of six weeks. The enumerators are also having a look at the special milk diary that many milk producers are keeping. This allows them to have a better idea of the price the family is receiving for its milk. In this booklet, every morning and every evening, the volume of the milk as delivered to the milk collection point is registered. There is also some space to note down the fat content of the milk in case this is measured. Every 10 days, milk producers are paid out. <laughs> to get an idea of the composition of the milk this family is producing, Ravi is taking a sample of the other fresh milk. This is interesting if you want to look at why different milk producers are receiving different prices. This may be because the milk has a different composition. For example, milk with a higher fat rate usually fetches a better price. But it might be as well due to other reasons, for example, the type of milk collection center or the degree of competition with other nearby collection centers. After the answers are noted down and the milk sample is taken, the enumerators return to their temporary residence in the house of the village head. After a tea break, they continue with their work. It is now time to measure the composition of the milk sample that was taken earlier today. Ravi is explaining Ekta how to correctly use the electronic milk tester. The milk is taken out of the plastic bag and should then be carefully mixed. This is what we call homogenization of the milk. It is done to make sure that the milk cream is equally spread over the sample, otherwise the fat rate measurement would easily understate or overstate the real fat content of the milk. Nevertheless, mixing should be done carefully to avoid the creation of small air bubbles in the milk, which would again skew the measurements results.
Finally, the sample is ready for analysis. A subsample is pumped through the milk analyzer, which measures some key features and returns the results on the display. The analyzer measures the fat rate of the milk, the content of the non-fat solids, the protein content, the density of the milk, its freezing point, and finally the percentage of water added in case the milk has been diluted.